Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I want to talk about how to train your man the right way. So if you're interested in a video like that, please keep watching. So hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to talk about how to train your man the right way. We're talking about feminine and masculine energy. We're talking about holding to our standards, holding to our boundaries, all of that jazz, and how that When your neighbors are getting their deck done, redone, makes filming really, really challenging. But how that, how you embodying all of these things is actually training your man. And this is the right way to train your man. So I'm gonna play, <laughs> I'm gonna play a clip right here of uh, Steve Harvey talking about how men can be trained, how masculine energy can be trained so let's run that clip you got to train a guy how to treat you that makes sense and we are trainable mm -hmm. because if we want you we'll do what you want <laughs> and it's like me and a dog it's not like you're telling a guy what to do we don't like being told what to do but we do live up to expectations when it's something we want and so yes he is right men can be trained but it is not like training dogs. It's not like training anything like animals. They're not animals or anything like that. It all boils down to you. It all comes back to you. And I've said this many, many times on this, on this channel that is always going to come back to you. And so I want to talk about how that looks and the law behind that. You know, I've talked about this law and I did a TikTok on this law too, and it really just kind of took off. And so I really want to dive deep into this law that is going to help you have harmony and peace in your relationship. Okay. And so before we get into the law, that's going to help you get harmony and peace in your relationship. I do want to say that the universe loves harmony and peace. And so, it loves homeostasis and you'll see it in let me just close all right all right all right i'm just trying to make a video and so before we get into the law i do want to share that i do want to say that one of the things that um, the universe loves is harmony peace and homeostasis it loves everything to be in sync right just working in harmony being in sync and so with that being said we're going to talk about the law of entrainment. Now I have done several videos, not a couple of videos on my channel about the law of entrainment and how the universe loves harmony and being in sync. And so this is where, this is where when you are in close proximity with someone in close relationship, <clears throat> in close relationship with someone that people say, Oh, we're on the same same wavelength. It's because you truly are on the same wavelength. This is when your brain wavelengths literally sync up. This is when we were vibing, right? We were on the same wavelength. We were vibing, this kind of thing. This is the law of entrainment because the universe loves harmony. And so whatever higher frequency exists, the other frequencies, other vibes, the other consciousness that is in close proximity will, will sync up with that. And so this is where, when I talk about on my channel, holding to your standards, holding to your boundaries, holding to your desires is so important. Okay. It's not about lowering your standards. Okay. We don't do that. It's not about, you know, coming down to someone else's level. No, it's holding your standards and having that person rise to the occasion or following or falling away. Okay. So this is the law of entrainment. And so as we evolve, as we grow, so do our boundaries, our desires and our standards. And so if you're in relationship, right? Or even if you're dating or in a committed relationship or something like that, you hold to your standards, you hold to your boundaries, you hold to your vision, your desires, and they will rise to the occasion. And this is why it's so important to hold to your boundaries. And so this is about balance 
but not balance when it comes to, okay, 50-50, you do this, you do this. This is about balance and working in harmony and working with the laws of nature, which is, you know, masculine energy and feminine energy and how they work in harmony together. And so it's about holding as a feminine energy perspective, as a feminine energy principle of a dynamic, holding your standards, boundaries, desires, um, everything. Now, I said, in, now I talk about this in Manifesting Made Basic, and this is your energetic state. We talk about what is the energetic state in uh, Manifesting Made Basic, and it's our thoughts and our feelings in conjunction, and this is our energetic state, okay? And so what precedes our feelings are our thoughts. So we start with our thoughts and our feelings, and we align those together, and that is our energetic state. And this is marrying the masculine and the feminine within ourselves to have our energetic state. And this is what we talk about. And this is what I teach in Manifesting Made Basic. I definitely recommend checking out that workshop. I'll leave the link below for that. I'm not gonna go into how to, you know, embody that energetic state. Just know that you need to hold your desires and all of these things in your energetic state. Now, when it comes to our boundaries, when it comes to our desires, when it comes to all of these things that we perhaps want our partner to rise to the occasion and meet us at our standards, boundaries, and um, desires and things like that, we oftentimes think, think with our logical mind, which is our masculine energy, okay, that's masculine energy, we think that if we communicate and we do and we, we you know, do all this stuff and we do things external to ourselves, that that is having boundaries, standards, and desires. But that is not true because we are energy. This requires you to hold it in your energetic state, right? It's about holding to your desires, holding to your boundaries, and holding to your standards. Now, does it require you to perhaps in your reality to communicate those things? Perhaps, perhaps, but it goes beyond that. Let's just be real. It goes beyond saying things because I can say a lot of things and not mean anything. I can say a lot of things and not said nothing or anything. I don't know what the grammar is right there, but you know what I mean? It's about sometimes, yes, we are having a human experience and sometimes we will be doing these things in our reality, whether it's communicating our boundaries, desires, and things like that. But it goes a lot deeper than that. It's about holding it in our energetic state. And that is the law of entrainment. And, and as we hold that in our energetic state, our reality changes, right? This is where the vibration people will meet you at that higher frequency that higher vibration okay they will meet you there but you have to hold it in your energetic state it's not just about talking a big talk and do you know all that stuff it's about the alignment within yourself your thoughts and feelings and holding that in your energetic state i hope that makes sense okay but this is so, so important because, you know, oftentimes people are like um, thinking that training is actual doing of things and making someone do something or anything like that. That's not what we're talking about here. Not in the law of attainment. Okay. That's not what we're talking about here. It's about holding it in your energetic state and your reality changes. Being it. We're talking about being it that's your energetic state is the being of it so your thoughts and your feelings are in alignment of your standards your boundaries and desires and things like that right your beliefs all of those things that fall under the umbrella of thoughts this is really really important because you can have a thought of 
a standard, right? You have a certain standard, which is a thought. If it doesn't match your feeling, that you, if you're, you have a thought of a standard, but you're feeling unworthy of that standard, you're not, you're not in alignment. That is not your energetic state. You're not married in your masculine and feminine energy, and therefore you're not in alignment. And so it's not your energetic state. So you might be thinking, okay, I set this boundary, right? But is, is it, is it, are you embodied in it? Are you embodied in it? Because if not, you're not holding it in your energetic state and things will not change. They will not rise because you're not even up there. You're not there. There's no rising to the occasion because you're not there. And so it really is about marrying the two, your masculine energy with your feminine energy, your thoughts with your feelings to embody the energetic state. And once you have that energetic state, this is where the law of entrainment comes into play. This is where people will rise to the occasion, your wave, your brain wavelengths will sync up, you, they will start being, they will start operating on the same frequency in which you are operating. Now, with that being said, law of entrainment, it, it doesn't happen overnight, typically. It doesn't happen overnight. So even when you're in alignment, you have to hold to that alignment, hold to that standard, hold to that belief, hold to that boundary, hold to that desire, no matter what is going on in your reality, that's the big thing, no matter what's going on in your reality, and things will start to shift. Now, where we often go amiss is we'll see things in our reality, and then our thoughts get the best of us, right? We have a desire, we have um, a desire for something. Me, for example, I have a desire for something, and what instead of me what i need to do is hold that desire and hold the thought of that desire and hold it in my being be in alignment with that desire and watch my reality shift to meet me the people and things in my reality to meet me at that frequency but oftentimes we might see something that's not that might speak to otherwise that might be something that is incongruent for with what we really desire and so then our thoughts shift and then we're we're not in alignment with that thing we're not in alignment with the training of the masculine or of our man right that's where we often go amiss and that's the most, I feel, I feel is the most challenging part because, you know, we often do believe that our reality is real. And so what we see is that, oh, okay. And then our thoughts start to shift instead of us holding to the boundaries, standards and things, no matter what's going on and expecting our reality, reality to then shift to reflect that desire to reflect that belief. You see how it all starts with us? It all comes back to us. That's the huge thing. That is the huge game changer here, is that you have to realize that it all comes back to you. So it's not about doing anything outside of you and like manipulation or trying to do this kind of stuff. It all comes back to you. What do you believe? What kind of loving, righteous, elevated thoughts are you having about the situation, person, place, or thing? It all comes back to you. So it's not about, you know, sending a text message or all of these different tactics and strategies. No. What kind of thoughts are you having? What kind of desires are you having? Are they elevated desires? These kind of things, righteous thoughts, elevated thoughts, high vibe thoughts, stay at a high frequency and watch your world change. Literally, literally. So it's not about the text messages. It's not about the 
you know, waiting a certain, no, no. You know, we can get into the practicality of that. Um, but at the end of the day, when it comes to the law of entrainment, hold your standards, your desires, your boundaries, and they will rise to the occasion. Do not, because you don't feel worthy, this and all of this, like not feeling worthy and not feeling valuable and all this kind of stuff, feeling insecure is a misalignment anyways. And so if you're not feeling those things, it's not gonna happen for you. You have to be in alignment, hold to the desire, hold to your standards, and people will rise to the occasion. Now, oftentimes people will start thinking, you know, I need to lower my standards, I need to, but that's still low confidence, you know, all of these things. Low confidence, a little self-esteem, you know, not feeling worthy, not feeling valuable, all of these things. And so you have to work on yourself in order to train your man. I'll say it again, work on yourself to train your man. And you hold to that high frequency, you hold to your standards, hold to those desires that you have for yourself and watch them rise to the occasion. This is the law of entrainment, right? Okay? Because the universe loves harmony, it loves um, peace, and so when there's a misalignment, they will rise. They will, they will rise to the occasion. You just have to hold it there, no matter what's going there, on in your reality. You have to hold it there. I did want to share this video with you guys. You know, the law of entrainment really is an interesting law of physics. And, um, you know, I don't think a lot of people often talk about it. We often talk about it in more of a spiritual sense. Like the law of assumption is more of a spiritual, symbolic sense for the, um, the more scientific law of physics part of it. But it's really, really interesting when you really dive into the law of entrainment. So I did want to share that, how to train, not just your man, but everybody around you. Like, it really comes down to, this is you holding your energetic state and your energetic state, what we talk about in Manifesting Made Basic, and how that is manifesting your reality. Even the people in it, okay? Even the people in it. All of the resources that I mentioned, Manifesting Me Basic, the workshop, I will leave the links below for that as well. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. I do videos on manifesting, the subconscious mind, feminine energy, all of that jazz. So if you like that kind of thing, I think you'll like it here. So definitely subscribe, and I will check you guys in the next video. Peace.